Hi, welcome to the Social Highway, Ken Walls. I am the CEO and the founder of Client Solution Innovations. We're based out of Columbus, Ohio. We do a lot of work for a lot of companies all over the country, throughout the world, actually. We have clients um, in, in other parts of the world. So um, I appreciate you being here. Uh, today, today, and it, it's been it's been a little bit, been a couple of weeks or so since we've we've uh, done an episode. Been been a lot of crazy beginning of the year stuff going on. Just have not been able to cut out the time, but we're here now. And and you know, I really put a lot of <clears throat> a lot of thought into um, you know what we were going to talk about today. Um, and you know, one of the one of the things that, that I think a lot of people, there's a lot of people that do this, but there's so many more that do not do this. And, you know, one of the things is um, when it comes to building your presence online, whether you're a business or a, you're a trucker or you're a, a tow truck company, or it doesn't really matter what, what kind of business you have. Something that is absolutely huge today is YouTube. And whenever I talk to you know anybody and we, we talk about search engine optimization because we're, we're really, really good at doing SEO, search engine optimization for companies. And that's just a thing that we do to, so a bunch of things we do to get a website to the top of Google. But you know, I always say, okay, what's the number one search engine in the world? And then everybody's always like, well, it's got to be Google, right? And yeah, absolutely. By far, they're the largest search engine in the world. And I always say, what's the second largest search engine in the world? And everybody says, I, I, Yahoo or Bing? I, I'm not sure. And, and the actual answer to that question is YouTube. YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world, and they're owned by the largest search engine in the world, Google. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff... I forget what the exact statistic is, but um, like it, every every minute, it's like ten thousand hours of of YouTube videos are are uploaded uh, to YouTube. I forget what the exact number is, but it, it's it's um, it's high. It's like super super. Maybe it's forty. I I don't. It's it's something crazy though. It's like wow, that many that many hours of of video are uploaded to YouTube every minute of the day on average, and it's crazy. So, you know, we've all probably seen a YouTube video by now, um, or at least, and, and you, can, you can get on there and look up some crazy things and, and find some very, very interesting material. One of the things that I looked up prior to shooting this episode was I looked up truckers. And there are some, there, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of truckers out there that are doing doing their own video blogs on on YouTube, and and so I started really you know talking with my team and and thinking through this. There are some really cool things out there. There are some huge huge benefits. You know, there's there's um, in our research we found this um, this this one trucker that 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 uh, does video blogs of everything he's doing. And he he uh, he laid on the horn at a a uh, a highway patrol officer for the guy was talking on his cell phone and speeding the 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 cop was and this trucker didn't appreciate it it was you know raining out or wet roads and the cop was on his cell phone and the cop was you know speeding super fast and he's like this guy's you know, not above the law, and laid on his horn at this cop. Well, the cop ends up pulling him over, and the guy videos the entire thing. I'm sure many of you have seen have seen this. The cop actually, you know, at first says that he's not, you know, that he's um, uh, he's he's not held to the same standard. That he does he doesn't have to, you know, he can use electronic devices and all of that. So you honked at me because you believe I was speeding? Because you were driving recklessly. It's speeding now, it's got wet roads, and you were on your cell phone. So if I'm going 70 miles per hour... And I you weren't going you, 70. You, you, were going you were going well above 70. You honked at me. You were going well above 70. Okay, you don't know. Do you, have a, do you have a radar right here? Do you always have to have your radar? I can, I've can. i been take, driving for quite a while. A card. You, know, what, what, um, you know, what happens in that, that instance right there is... 
you know, the guy realizes he's being videotaped. He realizes that, that he said some things he probably shouldn't have said. And, and, and talking about, like, you know, being above the law, basically. When he comes back to, um, he was going to write the guy for illegal use of his horn or something. And, um, and he comes back and he's, he's totally singing a different tune by the end of it. You're just trying to, you know, help me out, you know, help me drive safely. I understand that. So... You know, one of the things that 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 we can all do, you know, the you know, my my buddy Grant Cardone is a, a, a very well known sales trainer and 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 motivator, and he talks about making noise, about you know, getting get, getting your voice heard, and you know, we can be there's so many different things out there in social media now. There's Snapchat. There's uh, there's a new one called Beam 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 Me B E M E. It's an app that records four seconds of your of your day at a time, and 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 it you know it's it's insane how how it works. And it literally all I do is hold it up here, and it records four four seconds at a time. So it's adding it to my timeline right now as I'm sitting here recording this. And now I'm I'm done, and it's it's posting onto my timeline the four seconds. And anybody that follows me can can see can see that 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 this this thing, and then they can see the other other clips I've added in there from the past, and they can only see it one time. But so you've got be me, you've got the the um, you've got Snapchat, you've got all of these these services out there. What's the uh, the other video one that's six seconds at a time? Vine, yeah, you can do vines. You can do all these things where you're recording clips of your life. One of the really cool things I think about being a trucker is you're seeing parts of the country, parts of the road, things that nobody in the world, 99% of the people out there in the world are never going to get to experience on the level that you get to experience. I think that's cool. And I think that a, a, a video blog, if you're out there, you're doing a video blog, or if you're, you're the trucking company owner, gosh, the, the benefits of encouraging your drivers to, hey, you know, why don't you, why don't you do some video blogging? While you, and I'm not talking about operating a phone or a camera or being unsafe in any way. I'm talking about just having something mounted and set up so you can blog where you're going, what's going on, show the open road, show the highway to people that are never going to get to see that. Let people see what's going on out there. And, you know, just just, you know, so listen, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about this. We'll be right back with you. Thanks. Hey, welcome back to The Social Highway. I appreciate you sticking with us. So, so we we're talking about doing video blogging via a YouTube channel. But again, there are so many other ways out there that you can, you know, the, the Be Me app, the, the, uh, the um, uh, Snapchat, and all the other things that, that are out there. There are so many ways that you can get your message out there. Let the world see the world through your eyes. Let the world see what you experience every day. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter what lo walk of life you're from. It do none of that matters. What matters is that you're putting out content. You're letting the world know who you are. Letting the world see what you get to see. Again, whether you're a, 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 an over-the-road trucker, whether you're a, 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 t a tow truck driver, it doesn't matter. I mean, whatever it is, if you, you start doing this stuff, you get attention. I mean, there's, there's a guy here on, on uh, CFF Nationwide Network, the, the dancing trucker, you know, and he's gotten all kinds of attention. I think his name's John. I've seen some, is John the, isn't it John the dancing trucker? The, um, I'll have to look it up, but I think it is. But, you know, there's, there, there's so many people out there doing some really cool things to get attention, and, and you never know who's going to see, especially in a platform that's a public platform like YouTube, where, where people are watching, I mean, tons and tons and tons of, and, and here's the thing. If, if, you know, if as a, as a trucker, I mean, the average miles driven by a trucker is two to 3,000 per week. 
and, and, and that equates to 104,000 to 156,000 miles per year that the average truck driver drives. That's a lot of miles. That's a lot of open road. That's a lot of time. I personally have driven from Ohio to Seattle and back. I've done it four different times and I've taken different routes and um, but no offense, but I'll never go through Nebraska again, but uh, that was like the longest state I've ever driven through, like with nothing. I'm like, where is everybody? And, you know, but, but you know, you go, you go up into Montana, and, and once I was up in Montana, driving through Montana, I'm like, now I know why they call this big sky country. It's unbelievable. It's beautiful. And there's so many people out there that are never going to get to see that stuff. And if you're video blogging while you're driving and you, you know, the other thing is there's, there's around a half a million accidents per year involving semi trucks. And, you know, if you're video blogging and you're showing what's, what's going on and you have it mounted on your dash and people see I mean, they see that you're not at fault, you know. People can see that it was not not the truck driver's fault because I think that it's a, a default thing that, you know, people get this this mindset that, that it's always going to be a trucker's fault or something, and that's just not the case. So, you know, I think that doing video... And, and the other thing is you've got Instagram, you have, you know, Facebook, and you can post these videos on Facebook and Instagram, and, and you can, you know, put... Um, you can go out there and, 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 I mean, there's hashtags that people use. For example, I looked up on hashtag, on, on Instagram, what the most popular um, uh, trucker hashtags were. The most popular one is hashtag, which is the pound sign trucker. And we'll throw that up on the screen so you can check that out. There were 247,985 posts on Instagram that used the hashtag trucker. There's trucker life, 109,000 and some change. Hashtag truckers, there's 52,000. Ha hashtag trucker hat, 125,000. Trucker, hashtag truckers life, there's uh, 44,000 posts. You know, there's just so many different things that you can do to get out there and be social and show people who you really are, what it's all about, what it's like to be on the open road, and utilize YouTube. I'm telling you, YouTube is an incredibly underutilized platform. Although there's a lot of people out there using YouTube, there's not a whole lot of people out there that are structuring a channel. Very simple to go in with a Gmail account and set up your own YouTube channel make it really interesting, posting videos up to it all the time, just showing what it's like to be out there doing what you do. And, you know, you never know, again, if, if, if the, the right person comes along and sees your stuff and finds it interesting, you never know what can happen for you. But I, I can promise you this, as long as you're not out there, you're not out there showing people what you do and who you are, there's a real good chance you're never going to be seen. So, you know, I think that, that if, you, um, if, you, if you get out there, put your stuff out on YouTube, do some video blogging. You can even set up little website blogs and everything and tie it all together. You can post it on Facebook. You can do a lot of really, really cool things with, with a video camera and, and protect yourself in a lot of cases too. So, again, I in no way am I saying that you should be driving down the road holding a cell phone video video recording because that would be completely unsafe. But I'm saying if you, you know, you're using, they have dash mounts, they have all kinds of different things that you can mount your, your phone on or your, your, your uh, video camera or something and just, just start doing some blogging. When you're driving through an interesting part of the U.S. or, or somewhere, turn that thing on, man, and post it up to YouTube. It may not be interesting to you, but it may, it may be interesting to a million other people that even you didn't even think it was interesting, right? So that's how things go viral. That's how things get exciting. Listen, thank you for stopping by the Social Highway. I'm Ken Wall, CEO and founder of Client Solution Innovations. Genuinely appreciate you being here, and we'll see you next week. Have a great day.